messages we're doing first. So let's jump right into it. Okay, today we are going to explore messages. So let's open it up. Messages. Read a Howell's iMessage. All right, let me make sure I got the right activity going for message. I message. Good stuff. Be quiet. Voice over. Activity chooser menu three item. Voice over settings. AHP previous. All right. So, uh, your messages tool. Start with Close. Close. You have to realize that you're going to hear conversations, collection, conversations, or um, messages collection. It uses collection in messages for whatever reason. I've actually never seen that the other app so what we are going to do is VO to the right minimize button full screen button toolbar you are currently on a toolbar to interact with the items on this toolbar press control option shift down arrow okay so we'll do that to see what's in this toolbar and tool compose button conversation details button conversation details button all right, the compose button is obvious. Conversation detail is basically going to give you the information of the conversation that you're with, of uh, the person you're with, you're talking to. Their uh, contact info, if it's a group conversation, how many people are in that conversation, the name and email or phone numbers of the people in that conversation. Um, you can also add and remove people from the conversation in that um, area. Out of tool search. But before we do anything, let's go into preferences. Preferences, general dialogue. Set up name and photo sharing. Okay, so we're in general. Toolbar. Of course, there's a toolbar. You are currently. Where you'll select either, you know, the setup you want. So right now we're on the general tab. Add a display image button. Add a display image. You are I'm, currently on a button. To I'm assuming that's, if you have a screen, you can uh, adjust the resolution or brightness, whatever. Name. First, dimmed text. You can have your name and stuff. You are here. currently I, on it. I don't because I have multiple iMessages and it doesn't let you do that. If you have actually multiple phone numbers and it doesn't let you do that if you have multiple phone numbers. So I can't set up my name and photo in here. Last dimmed set up name and photo sharing. Keep messages forever. Pop up. This is actually supposed to be on a year. So let's do Menu that. Three item, one year, 30 days, one year. An alert dialogue. Cancel, cancel, delete button. One year. Okay, so it says keep messages, and this is if you have messages in the cloud turned on on all your devices. It'll delete messages from, like if I delete a message here, it'll delete it on my phone and iPad also. But let's, let's see what keep messages one year pop up menu three. on one year, but what's the choice? Th th Thirty days. Thirty days. Check mark one year forever. Thirty days, one year. Or you forever. are currently on a menu item. Them are your choices. I mean, I have conversations with Matt going all the way back to October. So I guess when October comes, those messages will go away. Anyway. Record audio button. I message message. Why did he get out of preferences? Let's go back to one year application. One year pop up so button. One year was where we at. You are currently on a text element. Notify me about messages from unknown contacts. Checked checkbox. All right. That me select to see a notification banner for messages from people not on your body or contact list. You are currently on a checkbox to select or deselect this checkbox. Okay, he told you. If the person's not in your contacts, you can get a message notification letting you know that that person's not in your contacts or on your buddy list, as he called it. Application. Notif notify me when my name is mentioned. Checked. Checkbox. When this is on, you will be notified when your name is mentioned, even if the conversation is muted. You are currently on a checkbox. Okay. I didn't have to tell you because he did. Autoplay message effects. Checked. Checkbox. Select to allow full screen effects in the messages app to autoplay. You are currently on a check. That means if somebody tells you happy birthday, happy new year, or any of the other ones that somebody sends you, it'll play the effects here. It'll play the effects in the message when you, when you read it or automatically. Allow full screen effects in the messages app to autoplay. Same thing. You are currently on a text. Play sound effects. Checked. Checkbox. Select to play all sounds in the application. You are currently on a message received sound. Cord pop up button. All right, this is where you can select the sound to be played when you receive a message. As you heard, mine is on cord because I don't like the traditional beeping sound. Text size. Of course, you are currently on A. 50%. A. 50. A. Help button. Help right, button. Yeah, basically, that was the size of the text of the messages. It doesn't matter to me because I can't see it. Toolbar. All right. In toolbar. Interacting with the toolbar. I message button. Now we're going to go to the I message button. Out of two settings, selected tab it's one right to two. It's on settings, just like it was, uh, just like you'll see in FaceTime. Settings are selected. Blocked tab two. Of Blocked is there. We'll look at that in a second. Apple ID. This is a gun. Basically, you are you currently on a text. L how to um, 
set up your I, your messages to um, do face ID or not face ID. Set up your messages to send and receive messages on your um, Mac. K L I P H N S H A R I. Sign out button. Of course, you don't want to sign out. Enable messages in iCloud. Checked checkbox. That's what I was talking about. This is messages in the cloud. Let's see if there's a hint for it. Sync now button. Enable messages in iCloud. Checked checkbox. You are currently on a checkbox. Okay, basically, this is what I explained before. When messages in the cloud is on, it'll sync across all your devices. Sync now button. You can sync now, which I don't need. You to are currently on a button. Because mine has always been on. You can be reached for messages at. This is the table. You are currently on it. Where you have the messages, the iMessage addresses that you want to be selected at. Unlike FaceTime, you do not have to have your phone number in here selected as your default send from address. You can have any default send from address. You will still get text messages from Androids or other texting services like Google Voice Numbers or whatever on your Mac as long as you have messages forwarding turned on in your messages on your phone. That's the key on that one. On your phone, in settings, under messages, um, text message forwarding has to be on and your Mac has to be selected. They used to make you have to authenticate with a six digit code back in Catalina or maybe it was Mojave where it was started. But now on Big Sur, you don't have to do that. Plus one, three, two, zero, plus one, three, two, K live, K, K, send letters. Yeah, I saw the numbers I have in iMessage addresses that I have selected or unselected. When this is on, send red receipts, uncheck checkbox. Send red receipts. That means if you read your message, it's going to send that person a little banner or whatever that says red. I don't because I just don't, you know, it, mine will just say delivered. <laughs> so, um, but you, if you want that on so people know when you read their messages, hey, whatever floats your boat. When this is on, people are notified when you have read their messages. This enables red receipts for all conversations. Start new conversations from. All right. This is basically. You are currently where I was talking about before, this start conversation from. So when you do a new message, this is the address that it will send from. Ask you about iMessage and FaceTime and private help button. Help right, button. That's about it with that. Let's go Toolbar, back over here. Setting, block, tab, selected. I'll point this out. Just, I mean, it's probably elementary by now, but I'll just point it out. This is where you put your blocked addresses. Again, this is across the board. If you delete a blocked number or email in here, it's going to delete it from your blocked email or phone numbers from FaceTime and in mail. Enter my message addresses to block in the list below. Table. No. So this is where you would select or, de or, or delete the messages or emails or phone numbers that you want blocked, whether it's a business, somebody that you a uh, solicitor or telemarketer person. that is calling you and you want to add them here, you can, or you can do it whenever they call you and just go down to the block feature. Unblock selected. Dimmed. But about iMessage and FaceTime. Hell. Button. About iMessage and FaceTime and privacy. Button. All right. That's just a privacy thing. All right. On to messages. Close window. Now, again, like I pointed out before, there's a collections table, um, uh, conversations collection and a message collection. So let's go. Apps button. That's we'll go. Let's Toolbar. Search. Search. Conversations. Collection. Selected. Rita Howells. Birth date. Address. All right. So it has the conversation with me and Rita here. So let's interact in here. Conversation. Let's go to the top. Sorry. Unre now, I will tell you, when you have a pinned conversation, you have to go left to right, not up and down. After you get out of the pinned conversation, you can go up and down. Matt pinned. Quad crew two muted, unread. We're done. Can we have Wi? Kids asking for Wi-Fi because they were done with their chores. Selected so, quad crew two. I selected that um conversation, and you can stop interacting and view right arrow over to the messages collection, as it's called. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use VOJ, which and if you do keyboard help, it's going to say jump to next link item. Um, it's called the jump command, as some people call it, but I'm going to do that because it's going to jump me right into the messages collection. In messages collection, reef, we're, reef, we're done. Can we have Wi Fi? So I'm going to type not, not. right now. now. If I wanted to send the message, I would just hit, hit enter. If I want to add a new line, I'm going to hold down the option key and it will say new line. Maybe. Maybe later. And I hit enter to send the message. 
you didn't hear the, hear the sound because I don't have sound effects turned on in, in this recording. But of course, my kids' iPads are sitting right here on my desk, so I just heard the text notification go off to know that they got it. So out of quad through two, pop get out of quad through two, vertical splitter thirty three. I stopped interacting with the collect messages collection, and I'm going back to the conversations collection. Conversations collection selected. Quad gonna, in gonna conversations. Co gonna go bo down arrow. Main instructor chat unread. Cliff set. Cliff pinned. Rita Howells, birth date, address, children's names are missing, 9, 14. So that's um, uh, what you call it. Um, I forgot what you call it. Um, AM. Conversation with Rita. So I'm going to VL space bar. Selected Rita Howells, and birth again, date, address, children's names are missing, 9, in, message. Rita Howells. And that also, like I said, that automatically puts me in the conversation collection. I'm going to command R. To reply directly to this message. Reply text, birth date, address, showing reply, will, it. And then I'm going to hit Actions enter. Will send reply. Later. Now, as you will see, if text, I go to right arrow. Text, 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 quick nav off. Quick nav off, text, out of your iMessage. Your iMessage will send it later. Nine, heading delivered. And it says delivered. Your iMessage will send it later. Nine. But what if I'm going to be a right arrow here or left arrow? I'm sorry. Rita Howells, birth date, dismiss replies button. I can dismiss the reply. Dismiss replies button, hiding reply, text, birth date. Now you heard it say hiding replies. You can also react to a message by doing command and the letter T. Tap back, heart button. It calls it tap back, but this is reactions where you would find. Toolbar, heart button, thumbs up button, thumbs down button, ha ha. Exclamation button, question mark button, message, birth. And there's all your choices. Question mark button, selected, question mark, search, search text field, search. So I just hit a question mark and just hit enter. All right. Now remember, to reply to a message within a thread is command R. You can also do command R to reply to the whole thread um, as long as that person's conversation is selected. Command T is to tap back or what the or react, whatever you want to call it. Now let's start a new message. Oops. J. Didn't mean to do that. New message is command N. New message to add a text is editing. And let's do it to trainer Matt. You are currently on Matt. Insertion at end of text. To add a text is editing. Matthew Grace involved rect. The tech. All right. <clears throat> it said his name. And his iMessage address. But if he wasn't the man I was looking for, because I have multiple maps in my address book. Results table. You heard it say results table. So I'm going to interact here. In results table, Matthew Grace and Volbrecht. Selected Matthew Grace. Expand options button. Expand options because he has another contact of few contact points that I could choose from. But since he's not the person I'm looking for, let's go to the right. Main instructor chat, Matt, Rita and Stephanie. All right. It told me that. It said main instructor chat, which is a group conversation that all the instructors have going on. And because he's in that conversation, it brought that up next to see if I wanted to actually write a message to that whole group, which I don't. So we'll continue to the right. Expand options button. And again, I can expand options, see who's in that conversation, yada, yada, yada. Matt Dierkins plus. Okay, there's another Matt that I know. Expand options button. And I can expand options on him. Matt Mullins plus. Another one. Expand options. So you get the idea. You VO right arrow until you find the one you want. If it's not the address or phone number that you want, you VO space bar on expand options. Once you do that, you select the contact point you want, and then you can write. So let's go back over here to Trainer Matt. Selected Matthew Grace and Volbrecht, the tech note at iCloud.com. And that's the email address that I want. So I will VO space bar. Added receipt. Matthew Grace and Volbrecht, the tech note at iCloud.com. As you heard, it said added recipient. So now that I have them selected, I'm going to VO right arrow. Matthew Grace involved. Add contact button. Message. Now you heard it say add contact. If I just started typing here, it would start trying to add more people because it would think it was a conversation. But because I'm going to go over here. Apps button. I message. Message text. It said I message edit text which means that's an edit field. But if I don't VL space bar here, it's going to think I'm looking for more recipients. I'm not, so I'm going to VL space bar. I message message, edit text, is editing. 
you heard it say I message at a text, which means I can start writing and I can say another test. Now, again, if I want to add a new line, new line, option, hold down the option key and hit enter. Then I can write OK. OK. And then when I want to send thanks. it, I just hit enter. OK, thanks. I message message edit text is editing. So I will go back over here. Apps, messages, collection, Matt, the tech juggernaut, at Ike, Matt, the tech jug, vertical splitter, conversations, collection, select. That's the conversations collection. So if I want to go back into the conversations collection, I can interact. In conversations collection. That's conversations collection. And I will be your right arrow or down arrow. Quad crew two muted. Main instructor chat unread. And you notice that it jumped me back up to the top because Matt is a pinned conversation. So because I was lower down in the conversation, it jumped me back up there because he's a pinned conversation to the area. So I could reply to the message thread that we were already talking to each other in. Me and Matt talk frequently, so I don't delete his conversation. Cliff pinned. Rita Howells. Jen unread. Reef not right now. Jen unread. Attachment one. There's a message from my aunt. She says good morning and that she loves me every morning. Um, Select the Jen attachment. And she is not an iPhone user. So that's why I selected this conversation. So I'm going to stop interacting. Add vertical splitter. 30 gen plus. About this vertical splitter, increasing it or decreasing it makes no difference to a voiceover user. So don't even bother with it. Gen plus 161296 messages collection. There's message co you messages, are currently on messages collection. If we interact, it'll take me to the conversation that we've been having for, I don't know how long she's been sending these morning messages. Apps button. There's the apps button. There's Apple Pay on here, um, iTunes, music, stuff like that. I don't, I don't really know because I don't use message or the apps in the messages app on the Mac. Text message message edit text is editing. Now you heard how it said text text message edit text, not iMessage edit text. That's because this is coming from a non iPhone iDevice user. So text message message edit text I'm is editing. Write, I'm gonna write what I usually write every morning, which is ditto. Dio. And send it. Emoji picker button. There's also an emoji picker. You can play with that at your own risk. Um, I write emojis manually for the few that I do know, but I do know that there's a lot of emojis in here to choose from. Different categories, different tables. It's interact, stop interacting. You might have to select different uh, different ways. I've never really played with it on the Mac. I'm not a real I'm not real big on emojis. So text message message edit text back the old right or left left arrow I should say back to the Apps collection. Button. Messages collection. Gen plus one six. Gen plus vertical splitter. Conversations collection. All right. Conversations collection. Let's interact with that. In conversation. Rita Howells. You question. Reef. Not right now. Mac study group. You All right. We're back at the Mac. We're at the Mac study group. Who will be in the Mac cafe today? So. Selected the Mac study group. You laughed at. I'll be. The so I'm going to VOJ. If you like, you can stop interacting. VO right arrow, and then re-interact with the messages collection but i'm just going to jump over there in messages collection and it told me that i was in the messages collection and i'm going to type c c u guys in a c you guys in a few that was my that's a test message just to show you how to navigate around one more thing i want to show you here new message to edit text is editing I just did command in for new message. But what I want to show you is add contact button. There's an add contact button. You are so currently on a button. If you don't know the person's name or how to spell it or their email address, you could VL space bar on this mess on this button here and it will take you to your address book. And I guess you could just scroll through all the contacts that you have and then select the contact point and it'll bring you back to the messages app. So you could start writing a message to that person. I can't say that for sure because I've always just done the few letters, find the person I want, VO space bar, and start typing. So, two. Again, to recap, for new messages, command N. To reply to a message within a message collection is command R. To do a tap back or react to a message is command T. Vertical and splitter. The last two. thing I'm going to show button. you. Apps button. Two. Vertical splitter. Conversation. Close window. Messages has no windows. Close the window by accident. You are currently on vertical splitter. Conversations collection. Here's Selected. The conversations in. collection. I'm going to interact with that. I'm going to go all the way up to the top here. Sharp. Matt. Pin. Here's Matt's conversation. Actions available. To unpin. Delete. Con main instructor chat. 
Quad Pro 2 muted. Kids conversation. Matt, so I'm going to select Matt because I'm going to show you something in, here. I'm going to message. jump over into our conversation. Your iMessage. Another test. Okay, thanks. 9, 29 a.m. That's the last message I wrote to him. But if I do command or not command, if I do control tab, it's going to take me to the next conversation. Search, search text field. Search. And toolbar. That conversation is search. vertical splitter. Quad crew two. Two. Is the kids conversation. Quad crew two. Pop up button. Messages. Click. So if I do come c- 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 control tab again. Search. Search text. It says search field, but I'm actually in the next conversation, which I think is the main instructor chat. Let's see. Emoji picker. But record audio. I message. Apps button. Messages. Collection. In. Rita Howells. Cliff. Send. Yep. It's the message. It's the um um instructor chat so to tell you what i just did again if you do control and the tab key it'll take you to the next conversation probably not exactly where you want to be but all you got to do is VO left or right arrow to see what conversation it is get to the edit field or interact with the messages collection and then you can start writing reading whatever you're going to do if you want to go back a conversation just add the shift key it'll be control shift tab and that will take you to the previous conversation again make sure you're in the right conversation before you start replying because you wouldn't want to send the wrong info to somebody that you didn't want to so that concludes this recording on messages and its settings all right um just a quick note that i want to add here is um in order to get to messages because somebody pointed it out to me is to make sure that you are opening messages from the dock your applications folder some people use the launch pad i have a commander but whatever way you do it is up to you